Job 25811, Francis Apartments. This is in Seattle for WPI Real Estate. Just looking up bid history with WPI Real Estate, and I'm noticing that we have um, a losing record. <laughs> we have just about been rejected on all their projects. So I don't know if I'm going to bid this or not. I did send an email out to... Uh, my contact at WPI explaining that I might not bid this job because we haven't won any projects with them. I'm waiting to see what they say. If I get better news and they do want to use us, then at least I'll be prepared. So here we are in Seattle. Um, this, I forgot the address of where we're at here. 4422. Uh, let me see what the, uh, the street is. Uh, it is uh, 4422 Francis Avenue North. Giovanni is my contact person. Okay, very tight street here. These are not fun because you hardly have any room. It's basically one way going down this street. You've got the building here, which goes all the way back. But I think their main concern is the sidewalks that are out here that need to be repaired. Uh, you have a tree that's close here, a tree there, and you got two trees and that there. So there are some questions about arborists, if the arborists need to be involved or not. They probably will need to be involved because of how close this is. But I'm going to measure out how long this whole sidewalk is. It basically needs to be taken out to the entrance, and then the drive approach needs to be taken out as well. Seattle Squares. I'm gonna go from here. I'm gonna start at this. <clears throat> well, let's see here. Yeah, I think for transition, I'll probably go back to this right here. So that way we have enough room to make the transition because of the tree root damage. So I'm gonna go from here down to there and then get that other little section there. So right here we've got six feet across so six feet by uh eight feet so six by eight if we go right here and all the way down to there six by eight remove and replace four inch seattle squares i don't know about this but it might be a good idea since there's such a large gap we should probably replace this panel right here this is not seattle squares um, this was shaved down, so I don't think that needs to be replaced right now. But this one over here probably should. Okay, so we've got a five foot, uh, or I'm sorry, it's about six foot. So six foot by three foot right here to replace. That's just regular broom finish, light broom finish. And then right here, we've got this area that needs to be cut out. Since it's busted into this square, I'm gonna go back one square, okay? So we got two, four, six, eight. So eight by six, eight by six right here. Remove and replace. I would imagine there's some tree roots in here and that's why this is happening. I think this is okay here. This is not, so the drive approach is going to have to get removed and replaced. So this drive approach is an 11 foot by 8 foot drive approach. And it looks like that might be that might be a tooled edge right here. Um, that might have been all poured as one. One monolithic pour. It'd be nice. It's, cra uh, it's cracked, so we'll probably have to saw cut it. Uh, take it back to this joint here and then remove this curving out front. I mean, there's a possibility we could saw cut right through that line and then replace this. Actually, let's try to do that. I think it'll still stay intact because that's buried here. So we'll saw cut on this 11 by 8. We'll saw cut through the tool joint here. All right. I think that that's a monolithic core. I'm not positive. Anyways, so 11 by 8 there. 
Uh, this area has been pushed up. It's starting to become a trip hazard, so probably will um, put this in here as a remove and replace. So we'll take it back to the second row of uh, squares here. So this is 246, six by four. This is a six by four right here to remove and replace. Get rid of that trip hazard. And then of course right here, this is getting pushed up. We got another six by four right here to remove and replace. Six by four. Someone spent a lot of time grinding right there, so I probably won't remove that. Um, now that I'm looking at this, if we go to replace that, it's going to be hard to, to tie that in. Now that I'm looking at this again, I think in order to do this correctly, we'll probably have to take out all the way down beyond this because of the grinding they did here and having to try to transition this location. That could be pretty tough. So... Um, we're going to go, all right, so we're going to go 12 by 6 and take out from there all the way down to here, 12 by 6, 4 inch depth, Seattle squares on that. We already talked about this, that, and we got the drive approach. We got that area right there, so we should be good. This is their parking garage here. So there are people that come in and out of there. Uh, they'll need to be alerted when this work is being done that uh, there'll be a day of closure. Uh, and then of course you've got power, a power pole here right next to this. So I think there's gonna be an arborist involved to determine what needs to be done there. If it could be saw cut or not. All right, any other questions, let me know.